Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. In this particular chapter, we'll focus on SIP trunking, AC23 trunk, intercluster trunk, and gatekeeper control trunk. SIP trunk is, uh, uh, is basically a type of interconnectivity that allows two endpoints to communicate over SIP protocols. You can use SIP trunk to communicate across clusters, call manager, uh, uh, multiple clusters. You can use a SIP trunk to communicate between call manager and a service provider. You can use SIP trunk to talk to PSGN gateway using a, a Cisco routers, for example. In this type of environment, when you use a SIP trunk, you need a distributed dial plan because each location must have a dial plan to route the call. Uh, can be connected to any device supporting SIP. A simple and customizable protocol, rapidly evolving with a feature set. SIP trunk is becoming a, a very uh, a, a, a choice of protocol whenever you're trying to establish um, uh, some sort of uh, maybe PSTN connectivity over IT, uh, IP network. To configure SIP trunk in call manager is pretty straightforward. You will go to device menu and add a SIP trunk, uh, click on trunk and add a new. Now when you click on add new, you have the option to define the protocol type. So your protocol type, uh, sorry, the trunk type will be either H225 trunk, which uh, gatekeeper control, intercluster trunk, gatekeeper control, uh, which both of them requires a gatekeeper, intercluster trunk, non-gatekeeper control, that means point to point, and then SIP trunk, which is point to point as well. So let's assume you select SIP trunk, and when you do that, you are you need to define a SIP a name for that particular trunk. Now that could be the just any generic name could be the name of the service provider or your partner. Like any other sort uh, sort of device, you have you know very very various configuration that can be uh, defined here. What more? What's most important is the trunk section of the configuration. The destination is the IP address of the remote site. Then you define what port number you're using for for any reason. If the remote side is using a different port uh, for security reason, then you must define the port number here. Uh, security proofs, you must define a SIP trunk security profile and SIP profile as well. Right here. So these are some of the requirements for SIP trunk to, uh, to successfully add a SIP trunk into call manager. And once this is done, you must make sure that this is the IP address of the router that is reachable from the call manager. H323 trunk is basically an H223 connectivity between the endpoints, just like SIP trunk. It uses H223 protocol. Uh, 